Amazing. Right, OK. <laughs> Welcome, friends of the channel. Back at Right Tune, as you can see, it's always so good to visit the gents here and have a giggle and, uh, to be honest, give Little Irish some TLC. It's been a while since we've been here, which is probably good because it means the car's been running fine since the engine gremlins in the summer. I've actually done, I think, 11,000 miles now since the guys rectified all of that. So that's really good news. Uh, it's, it's minor service time today. According to the book, it should be um, a major, but actually with all the engine work that was done earlier in the year, like plugs and whatnot were replaced anyway. So it just needs yeah, like oil and filter, essentially. Basically means for the rest of the day, we can do some fun stuff for the car, which hopefully, if this all goes to plan, is swapping out this original uh, gauge face. And this is what I'd like to put in, which is a slight variation on that and a bit of a homage to certainly the early cars, but also actually what I've really enjoyed latterly is the way Porsche has changed the Tacoma to face on like the ST, uh, other like heritage design edition cars like the, the 992 Targa Heritage. Um, again, yeah, just like picking up from some tachometers from Porsche's past. I wanted to instill a little bit of that kind of customization on Little Irish without basically going over the top, which is always really easy to do, particularly on the interior. So, it's a straightforward swap to all intents and purposes. If you wanted to try it at home, there's actually a pretty good video by a friend of the channel, James, uh, James McGrath, who's auto amateur. I'm sure if you watch this channel, you'll know of James's work anyway. He's absolutely brilliant. Unlike me, he's very handy at the spanner, so he gets, uh, he gives everything a go, whereas I'm what's referred to as a checkbook mechanic. But he has done a video on how to do this from home. So if you want to have a go on your own, Go and take a look at that video. I'll drop a link in the comments below. Uh, if you're like me and not so confident with uh, anything workshop based, then yeah, go to your preferred local specialist like the guys here at Right Tune, who will do the job for you. With pleasantries and a little bit of Mickey taken exchanged, Little Irish was hoisted into the air to get its annual service taken care of, sharing ramp space on the day with a beautiful low mileage 986 Boxster. In no time at all, the old oil was out, fresh oil was in with new filters, and Joe even had time to check the drain holes on Little Irish. And it was a very good job he did. Here's why. So can you see it? Yeah. So that's where it's full. It's not full, it's blocked, but only because it's, it's mulch from, from debris. You obviously leave the car outside, don't you, or drive it quite a lot. In the winter don't you all well, this mulch just basically gets stuck in the holes and if you leave it, it ends up turning to compost and then blocks the holes up yeah. obviously you get an overwhelming amount of water here yeah. and you can't wear away quick enough and then it just ends up flip flowing through places into the cabin that's when you start getting that damp yeah so really i mean if you're keeping the car outside you i would personally be doing this every few months lesson learned it was onto the fun stuff with the fitting of the new taco face Joe began by disassembling the 911's instrument cluster, which I'm fairly certain would be the first time this is removed since its fitting at Zuffenhausen back in 1998. Over at the workbench, Joe began splitting the instrument cluster down. It did look a little fiddly at times, so I was glad I didn't try such frolics back home on my driveway. Though again, your competence with these things is likely far higher than mine. I have to say, it was cool to see these dials up super close. After all, I've been staring at them for the last five years and 82,000 miles. But then if you think of your own car clocks, how much detail can you actually recall without looking? Probably not as much as you'd think. Anyway, with the original removed, it was great to see the factory taco alongside the one I had designed. And I was really pleased with the choices I'd made in terms of the fine details, which I'll discuss in detail shortly. Anyway, moving on from that rather large pat on the back for myself, Joe got the glue out and stuck the new face down, which was an amusing moment as I still wasn't certain this would even work out. Joe then began piecing the whole thing back together. Rehoming the binnacle in its frame, frame in the leather case
and the whole thing back in the 911's dash. Lovely jubbly. Then it was a quick test drive to check all was fine with the 911 after its service, which also served as an opportunity to check out the Taco in action, backlit, to see if I even liked it or not. Here comes your verdict. I have to say, I absolutely love it. I'd wanted to do something with these clocks for years, actually. I just find them, although they are wonderfully simple, some days I think they're a little bit too simple, particularly uh, with reference or in contrast to kind of modern day clocks that are just a, maybe a little bit more exciting. Even going back to my early days, borrowing 991 generation press cars with like GT3 RS in the middle of the taco, just a little bit more excitement. Things have stepped up, of course, for the 992 generation where Porsche Exclusive has looked back in its uh, massive back catalogue and rightly so to pick up some uh, lovely, design traits of the earliest cars and that's exactly where that green sweep that we first saw in the 992 Heritage Design Edition Targa that paid homage to that it's now pulled through to the ST and other cars with the Heritage Pack I just think that's such a wonderful touch that gives a uh, diligent nod to those earliest Porsche sports cars and that's kind of what I've always been about with this uh, reference the ducktail on the back the Fuchs wheels on my car even the new old stock uh, crest on the front of this car as well is from the Longbonnet F series, which I got from Porsche Classic and actually is terrible quality. It's hanging already, to be honest with you. So I wouldn't buy that again, I would say. Um, so again, like bringing some of those like quiet references into the interior of the car has always uh, intrigued me. But again, I've wanted to do it right and not overdo it. First thought, this is going back a couple of years, was oh, I should have green you know, backlit like the earliest Porsche 911s which would tie in nicely with the colour of this car but that's quite a big job 996 illumination is orange not green didn't want to go down that route thought about like a green face on the taco which again I didn't want to do thought it was a bit too much so I've gone for something that is as simple as the original clocks it's got the factory fonts all the way round I've even got the uh, rev indication at the bottom exactly as those factory clocks I was really specific on details like that and that's it. it doesn't need anything in the middle anything garish like little irish or look at me or whatever uh, so i just left that but just that kind of delicate green sweep around the clock face which is irish green by the way so it does match outside but it's just super subtle and that is it some people will never realize it's there or that i've put it there and i'm totally cool with that it's exactly the kind of vibe i like to go for again it looks like it was there from stock which is what i absolutely love i'm really impressed with how the black background matches up. It's absolutely on the button. Uh, it doesn't look like someone's placed it there as an afterthought. I absolutely love it. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the guys at Right Tune for their diligence and hard work as always. And my batteries run out, so that's good. <laughs> See you again soon on Nineworks TV.